One characteristic that Meltzer had was empathy. Do you know what empathy is? Empathy is the ability to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and relate to that person. It's an ability to care. And you see this characteristic in Nelson Mandela. 27 years in a prison for his people, for a struggle. Not one day, not two days, 27 years. He, he fought for his people. He emancipated his people from the wretched uh, regime of apartheid. 27 years for what he believed in. And see, the amazing thing for about Nelson Mandela, that this empathy wasn't just limited to the Africans or to the blacks. It was general. He cared about humanity. Let me, let me quote a few of his statements, especially related to the Muslim, because the vast majority of the crowd is Muslims. Let me give a quote. And when you hear these quotes, you know, by the end you come to the conclusion the man's a radical. He said about the U.S. He said about American Britain. He said they are undermining the U.N. He said about Bush. He's a small man, a man with no foresight, a man who wants to plunge the world into a holocaust. This isn't Michael Moore speaking. This isn't Tony Benn speaking. And listen, with all due respect, I know there's a huge contingency from America here. If you've got a problem with the statements, speak to Mandela. He said about America, he said the war in Iraq was for, war, for only oil. He said if there's a country on the face of this earth which has committed unspeakable atrocities, it's America. He said, the Muslim, he said the South Africans can never be free until the Palestinians are free. We can never have total freedom until the Palestinians are free. In 1990, when he went to Australia, he called, he called Israel a terrorist state. What relationship did Nelson Mandela have with Iraq or Afghanistan or Palestine? He had no relationship. He wasn't a Muslim, but he had empathy. He couldn't take anybody being oppressed. And this was amazing characteristic. He had a concern for humanity. And this is how believers should be. Let me recreate Nelson Mandela for you today. His name is Sheikh Abdullah Mandela. And he says all these statements that I just mentioned. He would be on a hundred watch lists. But does anybody have the guts to call Mandela a terrorist? No. Nobody has the guts. And this is why for Muslims, our battle, our battle is not just a Muslim battle. We should have that empathy that we see in the life of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for humanity, not just for the Muslims. If you want people to fight for your cause, then you must fight for the cause of other people. Don't be selfish.